Hey YouTubers, this is Killing K6, aka Raymond. Uh, man, what a day. Seven years, guys. Seven years. If you guys wonder, as you guys can tell by the title, it's been seven years. On tw June 25th, 2009, Michael Jackson died. You know, after finding that out about Michael Jackson, I was at home. I was off at work and I was watching C-SPAN and after finding out earlier that day we lost uh, a star a starlet who played in the original Charlie's Angels for Fawcett she died of cancer but then after watching C-SPAN we found I found out that Michael Jackson was rushed to the hospital because he suffered a heart attack but there was a lot of people that was by the ambulance and everyone was crowded by the hospital Reporters, fans, you name it. Finding out if he's going to be okay. But then, after two hours, I would say, he was pronounced dead. It impacted the whole world, guys. And I mean it every, uh, impact everything. Uh, now, you guys, this is the actual day. June tw on June 25th, 2009. BET was doing a countdown on the best songs ever because the BET awards were coming. This was previously recorded, but take a look at what happened right here. Welcome back to the show with BET's 106 and Park. According to the LA Times, Michael Jackson has been pronounced dead. We lost two great American icons today. Hollywood's own starlet, Farrah Fawcett, one of the original Charlie's Angels, and now one of the world's most loved and greatest pop stars that we will probably ever know in our whole entire lifetime. There, there are still conflicting reports. Some of the news sources say he's in a coma. Some uh -huh. just... Michael Jackson has been confirmed. He has passed away, guys. N Latoya Luck at 981, number seven number video. Seven video. Now, guys. After that recording, they were still doing the countdown because they were doing the nominees for BET Music Awards. But ever since that happened, they stopped the countdown. They've been playing Michael Jackson music videos. All of them. And then uh, 30 minutes later, we seen Jermaine Jackson give a speech saying that my brother Michael Jackson has passed away. And I know the fans are devastated right now. We are as devastated as ever. But I can tell you this, guys. The Jackson family actually uh, was honoring him. Everyone was there except for one person, and that was Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson uh, had, took it really hard. This is his brother we're talking about. This is the brother that... He did songs. She did songs with, and pushed her to be the best and everything. Michael Jackson is the king of pop. Long live the king, guys! But then, at, I I think it was either this. I think it was it was this year. It was the BET Awards when it came out. After finding that when he died, they did an amazing tribute to him. That day, because if you've seen the, the commercials, if you've ever seen the commercials, type in BET Awards, uh, Michael Jackson. Gloves, white gloves were pouring, was raining down. They said that mean that tells them that a tribute to Michael Jackson. And guess what, guys? They started it off with that. Michael Jackson was had an amazing, got the speech. From the queen of pop herself, Madonna. She said that you may be gone, but damn it, you were the best. Long live the king. And the the best tribute that you could ever imagine coming from BET. Everyone, it, uh, even the cast from This Is It, did all the dance moves of uh, of bad thriller. And Smooth Criminal, that was the best, guys. You guys have no idea. 
after that, there was one person that was upset that you couldn't be able to do a tribute to him. It was Chris Brown. I'm sure you guys heard what happened with him and Rihanna when he beat her up. He was kicked out of the BET Awards that time. But then, two years later, he was able to come back and do a tribute to him. Everyone was crying their eyes out, seeing how Chris Brown was upset, knowing the fact that his hero, Michael Jackson, was gone. But you know what, guys? Michael Jackson lived a great life. He, he broke records, guys. He had 13 number one hits. He broke the record for... If you ever type in uh, the Super Bowl of Michael Jackson, he had over... Almost 2 million people in that stadium. And almost every station, I would say three quarters of the world, was watching the Super Bowl performance of him. This guy is a legend. He had the best album in the world, Thriller. <laughs> With all these songs that he did, after seeing what he can do, he pushed himself to be the best. After that Thriller album, I watched the uh, 25th anniversary of Bad when it came out he said that he would go he would wake up write the number of how many albums he sold he sold over uh, 500,000 albums of thriller and he wrote that he said I'm gonna beat that I'm gonna beat that so that tells him right there that he pushed himself to be the best and you see a lot of people imitate his moves he would he was there even to honor his hero, James Brown. It was at the 2003 uh, BET Awards. If you guys ever have the chance, be sure to watch that. I'll leave the link on the thing because seeing Michael Jackson honoring his hero, that was the best moment, I think, in his life. And when James Brown passed away, the first person that saw his body, the very first person, was Michael Jackson himself. Well, guys, give me your opinion on what your favorite song of Michael Jackson is. I started listening to him ever since I heard the song The Way You Make Me Feel from his Bad album. After that, I started listening to every single song. When they said that a special announcement, music videos starting at this time, we always set the recordings. We, was, we taped on VCR, guys, back then. And we taped it all. After when I found out he died, if you guys had iTunes... At the iTunes store, everything was Michael Jackson. Everything. His number one album sold, number one song bought. And he said Michael Jackson was right there. You guys can tell right there, he made an impact in the music world. He really did. Well, guys, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reaction, more gameplay. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget, stay positive. Oh, and by the way, guys, long live the king.